Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic today is peacemakers against violence. And we're fortunate to have with us this morning to talk about uh, the Peacemakers Organization Against Violence, uh, Mr. Larry Greenlee, uh, Mr. Lunny Greenlee. And of course, Mr. Lunny Greenlee is a, a member of an organization called Galaxy Star Drug Prevention Program. And with Mr. Greenlee is Ms. Mary Horn. Uh, Ms. Mary Horn is also a member of the Galaxy Star Drug Prevention Program, as well as a member interested in this new organization, Peacemakers Against Violence. And of course, uh, Ms. Green, Mr. Greenlee and Ms. Horn, let me welcome the two of you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And to tell you how delighted we are to have the two of you here uh, to talk about what we consider to be a very, very important uh, problem, and that is gun violence and violence, youth violence, and all of those things that are generally associated with that. And what we'd like to do today, Mr. Greenlee, is to have you and Ms. Horn to uh, talk about, uh, first of all, your background and uh, some of the things that you've been involved in that eventually led you to establish such an organization. And then after that, we'll talk about the organization and some of the problems that many of our young people are facing today dealing with uh, guns and uh, violence and drugs. Mm -hmm. And of course, Ms. Horn will give us the same kind of information. But now, Mr. Greenlee. Yes, first of all, yes, the, the reason why I do what I do because of my background. Uh, I came up on South Faith in the projects in 1969. You know, and I had great hopes of being this professional pool shooter. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, drugs came mm -hmm. into my environment. You know, and curiosity and trying to fit in mm -hmm. had me to first touch a John of marijuana, mm -hmm. which was the biggest mistake of my whole life. Mm -hmm. And only to certain years later that I realized that it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. But by then, it was a little too late. Mm -hmm. You know, I had been rolling. Mm -hmm. So that's how this whole thing come about. Mm -hmm. I was on crack for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, one day, out of nowhere, I've never done crack again. I've been clean now about seven years. Mm -hmm. And when I got clean, I'm saying, well, I was one of the problems. Mm -hmm. So what can I do to try to stop some of the stuff in my youth mm -hmm. from going through what I went through? Mm -hmm. So the first thing I did was organize a drug program. Mm -hmm. and, but when I realized that a lot of folks wasn't staying clean because they wouldn't have peace of themselves, mm -hmm. they didn't know God, mm -hmm. you know, and didn't want to know God. Mm -hmm. So this what led me into the youth. And I said, now I want to get involved more with the peacemakers mm -hmm. and how to stop the violence, and I really have some answers. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of my mm -hmm. background. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, Ms. Warren? Yes. Well, my background was I was raised up in church, mm -hmm. but I was going to church so much till I wanted to get out into the world. I was the opposite. So when I got out there, I started getting off, hanging with the wrong crowd, and then I started using drugs. Mm -hmm. But then I had prayed, I prayed to God to get me back on track. And my thing about it got me interested in doing this was I wanted to open up a halfway house for a woman, mm -hmm. for the women, mm -hmm. you know, to get the ladies back on track mm -hmm. too. So it, it turned out to be being a peacemaker and try to get all the mothers and the single mothers, mm -hmm. married mothers, and all mm -hmm. to understand and talk with their kids, because I had a daughter. And when you use drugs or whatever you do, mm -hmm. you don't, you know, mm -hmm. talk to your kids. And right now, the peacemaker to me is be peace in your home, mm -hmm. so you can talk to the kids mm -hmm. today. Now, you know, Mr. Greenlee, when we talk about uh, the uh, drug problem and preventing uh, drugs and et cetera, for the last 20 years, I think that we've been talking about this same problem. But still, uh, every time people, you know, every uh, individual who comes to us will bring us some real reasons in terms of why this problem persists. Why is it that we still have this problem after all these years and all these deaths and all the problems that's associated with it? First of all, we got the blame game going on. Mm -hmm. We are blaming everybody but ourselves. We have to get busy. Mm -hmm. We keep wanting a microwave fix. This is going to take some long-term fixing, mm -hmm. and it has to start within your house. You can't accept right. the, the responsibility of giving it to somebody else. You have to start within your own house. Mm -hmm. You keep complaining about this and blame about that, mm -hmm. but you yourself have to start. This mm -hmm. is an individual thing. So what happens is we keep going around trying to find a government program. Mm -hmm. We're trying to put on the police for enforcing. Mm -hmm. We go through all this stuff of getting still. We don't want to meet anyone. Mm -hmm. We want somebody to come in and fix a problem that only you yourself and your community mm -hmm. can fix. Mm -hmm. And that's what has happened. We've left it and instead of coming up with creative ideas and things, mm -hmm. 
We let other folk come in with programs mm -hmm. that really don't fit our community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's been the real problem. The pro programs are really alien to the community, the efforts that they're that trying to make. That it's supposed to be mm -hmm. uh, supported. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's the only thing. So when we started doing our own mm -hmm. and then asking the government to come in mm -hmm. and help us fix our own, mm -hmm. then I think we can get somewhere. And of course you believe that the Galaxy Star Drug Prevention Program, which is the head of this peacemaking activity, you think that this is the kind of program that, uh, that, that the people can come in and support? Well, first of all, we're uniquely because mm -hmm. we are part of, at one time, mm -hmm. the problem. Mm -hmm. So I figure that the, in order to be a part of the solution, you have to once really know the problem. problem. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so, mm -hmm. okay, so let's take this, uh, let us take, uh, Ms. Horn, uh, this first uh, commercial break, uh, Mr. Uh, Greenlee, after which we'll come back and we'll have uh, the second segment and we'll give you an opportunity to go into uh, other things in reference to the call of uh, this drug problem, violence problem that we have. Of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. There are many worlds beyond your own. Today, the topic is Peacemakers Against Violence, and we are talking to uh, Mr. Lonnie Greenlee and Ms. Mary Horn. And of course, uh, Mr. Greenlee and Ms. Horn.